Greetings all. Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, automate preset changes in VST plugins. There was a viewer that um, asked me for help a few days ago, so I thought I'd do a bit of research on this. And as it turns out, uh, it is a bit convoluted to uh, make this work in Reaper, but once you know how, it's really easy to do. Most VST plugins come with uh, presets, and obviously you can save your own. So this method will work for most plugins out there. There are a few that requires a few extra steps to make it work, but um, I haven't uh, dug into that yet. Now, what I've got uh, going here is a quick uh, DI uh, guitar track that I just uh, recorded, and I'm using the Rocker Gain uh, plugin that just came out from uh, Plugin Alliance. Sounds amazing, by the way. So I've got three different uh, guitar parts here. And I want to start with the Strut Crisp uh, Clean preset. And for the second part here, I want to use the Swampy Blues preset. And finally the Humbucker Rock A. There are uh, a bunch of different videos out there online, uh, some of which have some really convoluted ways of uh, using various external softwares and uh, all that jazz. In Reaper you don't really need that. And to make this work we're going to insert a new uh, track here. This will be a MIDI track. And what we'll insert there is the Rear Control MIDI plugin that comes with the uh, Reaper. And what we'll uh, need to do here is um, enable the Bank Program Select option. You can also choose which channel you want to send on. In this case, we're only using this one plugin, so uh, we can leave it at uh, all. Now for Patch File, we can add the General MIDI. This comes included with the uh, Reaper. Then what you need to do is create a send from this MIDI track to our uh, guitar track. And just easy, click and drag from the I.O. Uh, button here and onto the guitar track. That send needs to be there, so we can uh, control our uh, rocker gain. Now, in our uh, plugin window here, then we press our plus button here, and go to link to MIDI program change. I will just put channel 1. We can now open our uh, recontrol MIDI again. Just try out some uh, different options here. You can see now the presets in our rocker gain is changing. And here we have now found our first sound that we want to use, and that is program number 19. And if I'm right, the other one should be number 25, yep, and 12. Yeah, that's right. Now the next thing we need to do is insert a media item on the media track. Just uh, have the edit cursor above there. Just double click our media item. And down here at the left, we need to select Bank Program Select. Normally, the media editor in Reaper will uh, start up with Velocity selected, so we need to change that. Bank Program Select, and we'll double click now where our uh, play cursor is. We have a MIDI channel 1 selected. This corresponds to uh, what we told our plugin to be linked to. And we then insert the program number we want. Ah, that one uh, snapped. So we turn off uh, snap here and just drag it to the 
place we want. So now, this should now start off at the right sound here. And it does. We just go to uh, open space and insert our another MIDI item. Double click. And insert our next program uh, change message. You'll also see there's a small PC down at the bottom, our um, MIDI item. And again, do the same thing for our uh, last sound there. Double click. And that's program number 12. Hit OK. Working beautifully. You'll probably also have noticed I have an uh, automation lane inserted here. And that's, that's for the master volume of our uh, plugin. So we can easily uh, just turn it up for the last one there. Notice the master here goes up. And a quick little tip at the end there, how you do that. Just click on one of the controls in the plugin. Go to parameter menu and you'll see what the last touch one is. And then click show track envelope. So we can then uh, go in and uh, tweak individual uh, controls in Reaper. Let's say that I want to uh, pull down the gain a bit for this one. Do a time selection. And I have a shortcut to insert four points. And just pull down the game. And there you have it. This is a, a great way to use modelers for uh, playing live. Say if you're playing to a backing track or a click track or uh, things like that, you can pre-program all of your guitar sounds in advance so you don't have to touch a pedal uh, all night if you want to. Or as you've just seen, to automate uh, parameters on the plugin uh, while you're doing mixing. This is a great way of uh, getting some ear candy going. Hope that was helpful. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel, leave comments or questions if you have them, like, share, and all that uh, schnizzle. Until next time, have a great weekend.